How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Sekiro for you guys. And uh, we're going to continue our walkthrough today. Uh, but first, um, as you can see, I've been a little busy here. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm out, all out of gourds because I was fighting all of these guys at once. Um, basically, I came down here to clear out uh, just the two guys that are standing over here. And I ended up attracting all of these guys. Um, basically, you want to cut these the wall that's right here. There's a little secret area down here with a few of these uh, spinning blade dudes. I actually already killed one. Uh, can I actually get this guy's attention? All right, there we go. Just watch out for the spinning blade attack and you should be fine. Cool weapon, dude. But you gotta die. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day wherever you guys are. Let's grab the pellet. Uh, let's grab the eel liver. Ew. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can sneak by this little section right there. I don't remember uh, checking this part in my other in my other playthrough, so this is kind of cool. Little secret air. Oh, Ishan's letter. A note left by Ishan in the watchtower. Perhaps Emma knows his current where, but I actually do know where Ishan is. But dear Emma, the Ishina Castle gate has grown loud with the sound of scurrying. The Tengu will see to the rats. Worry not, Ishan. Ha! <laughs> the Tengu is like telling me to go get the rats. Oh. 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 We are outside. All right. Well, um, I didn't want to go too far out of like out of my way with this. I just wanted to grab those couple items that were there. Um, so yeah, let's just go back. Let's just go back. No no need to go in there. So we're going to fight a really hard boss now, pretty quick anyways. And the boss is Genichiro. I'm sure if you guys are playing along, you've probably already tried fighting him if you're at this bonfire. or I keep calling him bonfires, but y'all know what I mean. Idol, because he's Basically, just after this idol. Let's go ahead and open these doors. But first, we gotta fight this dude. Uh, he's a mini boss that is... Uh, he can be really tough. He can kill you in like one second. But he's also not too hard to kill if you just parry him a lot. Easier said than done, I know. I'm probably gonna die my first try, but whatever. Let's just do this. Oh wow, alright, got him first try. Basically just spam the uh spam the dodge or the parry. He won't. Oh man, we're so close to getting him without dying. That's okay. There he is. That move that he gets, you that he's doing. Oh, nice prayer bead. He's. We kind of get a move that does that similar thing. Ghosts once lurked in the land of Ashina. The ghost lightning was of the fountainhead gods, unstoppable by normal means. Unless you have eel liver, avoid ground. Reverse lightning. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, let's just grab the item right here. Do I have four prayer beads? I, I really don't think I do, but um, let's go rest because obviously we're about to fight one of the really tough bosses in this game. So we, we want to be fully healed here. Oh, I only need one more prayer bead, dang it. 
Ah, that's all right. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and jump out the window here that he was uh, kind of guarding there. All right, that guy, kite guy is not going to mess with us. You hear the whistle? That's supposed to be Kuro. All right, so oh, I was going to go over some boss strategies. Let's watch the cutscene, but basically, this is all about parrying. And you want to stay kind of close to him. He's really tough. He's got two health bars. Then he goes into his final form where he's like a demon god thing, but he's actually kind of easier in his demon god form, to be honest. I'm probably going to get wrecked. I have not fought him in a long time, so I don't remember like how he fights very well. He just wants the uh, divine blood immortality. Perfect timing. Genichiro, we meet again. Arm for an arm? Let's dance, pretty boy. Why you need all that armor if you're so good? Let's do it! Second try, Lord Ganichiro. Ah, third try with Kanichiro. <laughs> third try is a char third time's a charm, right? I did worse my second try. Yeah, baby. Get it. Didn't even use a gourd. Or my resurrect. Maybe the third time is a charm. A different lord? The divine dragon is the only lord worth serving. Pretty boy. You stripping for me? Finally, a fair fight. Use your cheap lightning tactics, if you dare. Man, you are uglier without the armor. Now I know why you wear it all. Actually, he's usually easier in this form, so don't be intimidated. Oh my gosh. He actually got me. I completely messed him up in his first two forms, and then in his final form, he killed me. Usually, <laughs> if you can get him to the final form, he's easier. I don't know why I got destroyed there. If you see him do the lightning attack, you got like a second to actually jump. And when you jump, you can R1 and throw the lightning back at him, basically. But usually, if you just stay on him and uh, parry his attacks, you can kill him pretty fast in his second form. All right, fourth time fighting Ganichiro. Wow. All right, fifth time fighting Ganichiro. I believe. Gotten him to his final form twice. It's all about patience.
Watch out for that grab. That's the most annoying move. Guard, but that's all right. Yeah. Oh, get some. All you got you gotta do more than that Bring on the lightning. Still got my resurrect, got all my healing. Like, come on, Lucian, I should be able to beat him here. Stay aggressive. Any second. There it is. Finally got him. What was that fifth try? This is for my arm, dude. Well, guys, if you actually beat Genichiro, congratulations. We just got more attack power, baby. Got the memory, got the blood smoke ninjutsu. Basically, after you do a backstab or like a stealth attack, you can do a ninjutsu, but it does use a ton of spirit emblems. Uh, the blood smoke one means after you do a backstab or stealth attack, it'll make like a smoke screen and then you can be stealth again. All right, sick. Leveled up, got the skill point. Should have taken both his arms after what he did to my arm, man. And he did it on a cheap shot, too. Emma is actually uh, a godly swordswoman as well.
Genichiro, man, you're not looking so pretty anymore. What happened? Oh, quit acting all noble. You just want the divine blood for yourself. Didn't I just, like, cut you in half, practically? Always cut the head off, man. You always gotta cut the head off on these reviving, reviving dudes. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't work so well on certain bosses, as we'll see later on, but... All right. Feels good to actually get past Genichiro. He is a really tough boss. Him and Lady Butterfly are both really tough bosses. So now, basically, we're going to do a lot of talking to Kiro and whatnot. Let's go ahead and rest. Uh, actually, let's, let's enhance our attack power to level 4. That will be nice. Born a peasant, Genichiro Ashino was taken in by the... Ashina after his mother's death. With his country on the brink of defeat, Genichiro took to her heretical arts, mastered the lightning of Tamo. Such heresy may be the key to saving her. Great. You know what? I would have liked also a prayer bead, dude. Oh well. Alright, so let's just talk to Emma really quick. <laughs> She works for Lord Ishin. She wants me to go talk to Kuro. Got you. This is going to be Kuro's like hideout room now, for the for, for the rest of the game, basically. He's like, I knew I picked the right dude. This is where they finally explain the dragon rot a little bit. Basically, the more that you use the resurrection ability, it makes other people sick. Uh, that's why Kiro wants to break the chain, so to speak. Break the cycle and stop the resurrecting. Which means give up our immortality. Um... How many times have you died? Two? Three times? Eh, something like that, dude. <laughs> Alright, we will do it. We will do it. Immortal Severance Text. Now that we've killed Genichiro, or kind of killed him, we have to go to the Divine Realm to get Dragon Tears. How do we get there? We need to burn some incense. That's how we do it. So he's going to send us all over the world getting these different ingredients to light the incense. Lord Takaru. This is the uh, incense burner Lord Takaru used to get into the Divine Realm. To get the Dragon Tear to sever the Immortal Tie. So just keep talking to Lord Kiro. Eventually he's going to walk over by the window. Alright, there you go. And when you come back, he's actually going to be opened up uh, the room nearby to be looking in the library. Alright, cool. Thanks, dude. Thank you so much, Kiro. So, so much help. Alright, go ahead and unlock this window right here. Gonna take a drink of my tea. And, uh... Just swing a right. Uh, you're gonna wanna go to this building right over here. This is where he is. If you don't see the dude in here, then you need to talk to Kiro some more. Keep talking to him until you get him to the window, and then it should be good. 
This guy is legendary. I mean, he has entire textbooks written about like his styles and whatnot. The Ashina style, man. He gives me some sake. He's happy that I took out Genichiro because even though Genichiro is his grandson, that's right, Ishin is his grandpa, uh, he's kind of forsaken. He forsake his grandson because he's going down the wrong path. He just wants immortality. Should I give him the drink? Loosen him up? He is an old man. Let's treat him. He'll take it. Genichiro's <laughs> master almost killed him, the Tomo lady. He, he's telling me to go get the mortal blade. Anybody who draws the mortal blade dies. So of course, because I can't die. I'm gonna go get it. Senpo. Okay, thank you, dude. <laughs> Hesitate and you lose. Dang, dude. All right. Okay, guys. Really? I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Oh my gosh. Let's calm down. Where are you gonna backflip to now, boy? There's a couple items that I wanna go get before we end the video. Dang, dude. Um. Yeah, I think we can. All right, yeah. I need to remember. Let's 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 lose a homeward idol to last communed idol. We're gonna go get another prosthetic tool before we uh, end the video. I know I didn't really explore much in this video, but the Gedichiro boss fight is really tough. That's basically a video in and of itself. Next video, we're gonna do a lot of exploring, and I don't think uh, any boss fight. Maybe a mini boss. That's about it. Uh, oh, this isn't actually the idol I wanted to go to. Let's see. I want to go back inside here. This is the idol I was trying to get to. Actually, you know what? It's not this idol. I gotta remember which idol it is. Yeah, I think it's this one, the antechamber. Let's let's go to the antechamber idol. Alright, so basically uh, alright, fine dude, you wanna die. I will give you a swift death. Just jump down here. You don't have to grapple here. Um, there are some strong dudes down here, though. Let's try to get him.
With the big guy gone, these guys are a lot easier. Give me that treasure. And then, actually, no, don't go this way. Go the other way. There we go. Grab the eel liver. Grab the Gokan sugar. And... Something that I did not find very useful. Sabimaru! Ancient Kodachi short sword. Basically, it's a prosthetic tool that has very little reach, but it can apply poison to enemies. So... You go ahead and play with it if you want. It's pretty useful on boss fights sometimes, if you can, uh, depending on the boss, you can poison them and then fight them a little more. Deals damage to their health. Uh, this unlocks a little shortcut area. We're not gonna actually go this way quite yet, though there is a bonfire right over there, or an idol. I guess we could get it. This guy is actually really hard though, so be careful. I'm gonna resurrect and backstab him. Make it easy. Oh, never mind. He, he's too smart for that. He's about to kill me, so I don't want to die. Oh my gosh, this guy's a god. But yeah, right past that dude, there is an idol. Uh, I don't really care if we get it this episode. If not, we'll get it the next one. So, let me see. Is there anything else that we need to get? Nah, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, just be sure to go back to Kiro's room. I'm going to actually travel back to Kiro's room. Uh... Did I not get the bonfire in Kiro's room? That's fun. That's... That's... <laughs> wow. I keep calling it a bonfire. I'm sorry, guys. Dark Souls habit. Let's go grab the idol in Kiro's room. And then... Uh, we're going to get a key. He should open the library, I'm pretty sure. Next time we visit him. Yeah, let's go downstairs. Did I not grab this idol? Yeah, wow, I did not. Okay, that's funny. I know it's like two feet away from the other idol, but still. Uh, all right, go ahead and talk to Emma if you want. She talks about the dragon rot too. She wants you to get blood from people. Ooh, I'm gonna give her the gourd seed I got, sweet. I didn't even know I had a gourd seed. Wow, I had a gourd seed this whole time? I could have used it on Genichiro? Oh my gosh. That's unfortunate. All right, so he opened up the library right here. Let's go ahead and grab the gun fort shrine key. Very important. And go ahead and talk to our lord and master. <laughs> go get the mortal blade in Senpao Temple. I'm going to read some books while you risk your life over and over and over and over and over. The Sakura flower, or the droplet, uh... I'm gonna give him the droplet. It basically makes it so like, if you use your resurrection, you know how like you can get it back? I think it makes it so that you can get it back easier. It doesn't make it so that you can resurrect more than once, I'll tell you that. Because I've tested that out. And you definitely only get one resurrection, unless you use a bundle Jizu or whatever idol. Additional resurrective power granted. Not really sure what it actually does. The flower is guarded by the guardian ape, so yeah. Really tough boss. Honestly, I think he's not as tough as Genichiro, though. Okay, okay, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, so that pretty much wraps up the episode, dudes. We can go ahead and inspect it. Smells faintly of Sakura flowers. He wants us to smell it. We'll go ahead and talk to it. Oh, never mind. Yes, I did smell it. Yeah, there he goes. Okie dokie, now that we're done talking to him, all his dialogue. I can't believe I had a gourd seed this whole time I didn't even use it. That's, that's, that's just sad. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Lucian Sword. I'm really looking forward to the next video because there's a lot of exploring and fun stuff we get to do in the next one. Hope you guys beat uh, Gunichiro. He's really tough. Uh, hopefully my video helps you fight him. Basically, you just want to go with counters, counter, 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 learn his attack patterns. He only has a few different attacks. Watch out for the grab. Um, stay aggressive, but at the same time, always ready for his attacks. And just, yeah, that's about it. The final round, as you saw, just stay very, very aggressive. And he has a lot less posture because he doesn't have the armor. Anyways, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.